Good morning and thanks for joining me again today. So it's Monday the 16th of August and this morning I have 120 grams of the 5% Greek yogurt which is 112 calories, 40 grams of the Dorset muesli for 147 calories, 100 grams of defrosted uh, raspberries for 26 calories and I've measured my milk out for the day. I've got 200 mils of the oat milk for 96 calories, so I've got my first coffee of the day. So that is my breakfast and my coffee, and I'm really looking forward to it this morning, so I'll catch you all later. I've just cut this nectarine up now, so it's 156 grams for 67 calories, so I'm having this as a little morning snack. For lunch today, I've got four cracker breads for 80 calories, they're 20 each, and then I've got them topped with 68 grams of avocado, and that's 116 calories, and cherry tomatoes, that is 10 calories. So that's my lunch today. I really enjoy this, and the cracker breads are less salt than bread, so it's a better way of having it, really. I'm having one of these jellies like I had yesterday, so it's just frozen raspberries in the bottom, sugar-free jelly and 50 grams of the 5% Greek yogurt. So this is a total of 55 calories. This is my tea tonight, I've got 30 grams of halloumi for 98 calories, 30 grams of cooked prawns for 21 calories, lettuce for 6 calories, Tomatoes for 10 calories and cucumber for 7 calories. I'm having this little moon now for 81 calories for my pudding. I've just made this uh, chorizo quiche. It's a recipe again that I got from Jane's channel. So I've done it so it uh, serves three servings. The whole recipe is coming up at 572 calories so I'm going to divide it into three and that's going to be 191 calories per serving so I thought that would be nice on some salad I'm going to have that I think tomorrow so and it smells delicious and we'll see what it's like tomorrow so I'm just doing face mask with my daughter so this is the current situation So this is the dog I own. She's crutched in on my bed while we're doing face masks. When we first had her, I always said there's absolutely no way I'm having a dog on the bed. And this is what's happened. So that was a nice uh, little pamper. We had some nice face masks and um, it was just nice to have a bit of girly time without um, my husband and son being in the background. Um, they were so boisterous and I don't know, they ruin it a little bit. So it's quite nice, nice just us two. So yeah, so um, I've had a really nice day of food today. Um, I've had one thing that I didn't video, um, my daughter come home with a, a Subway chocolate chunk cookie, which I had like the end of it, um, but I put it down as half just to cover myself, but it, it wasn't half, but I put it as that, and apart from that, you've seen everything else, and as usual, I'm going to be ending on, um, the evening with a skinny whip it really is something that I look forward to it may sound sad and boring to everyone but it's what I enjoy so some people look forward to a glass of wine in the evening I look forward to my skinny whip um, so I'll turn you around in a minute and show you what I'm ending on if I hadn't have had the um, cookie I was ending on you know really I had loads of calories left so I think it's 
quite a good job I did eat the cookie to be honest otherwise I would have been ending with about 300 calories left and I did have um, some comments I think it was yesterday saying um, should really be eating more of um, my calories more so than watching my salt but um, I don't know I mean I try and eat more cal as many calories as I can but sometimes it is hard to incorporate more calories and not having more salt and yeah I know you can have fruit um, today I did have the nectarine and I was I had an apple put in uh, my app to have this afternoon but I've had toothache and I didn't want to um, I got a hole I have right at the back and I didn't want to to eat the apple and cause more problems and the dentist can't see me till the end of September unless like I'm in major uh, pain then I gotta wait till then but um, fingers crossed it's not too bad at the moment so like nectarines and bananas and stuff like that and strawberries okay so I need to go and buy some more strawberries tomorrow um, I'm pretty sick really of buying these strawberries and I have one serving and I go and have some more the next day and then mildew so so yeah so it's been a good day and um, uh, anything else I need to say I'll turn you around in a minute and show you what I'm ending on um, and if you haven't already seen Saturday's weighing update um, Go and check it out because I've um, said about my 500 sub subscribers giveaway um, and the details are on that video of what to do to be in in with a chance of winning. So that will be on Saturday. Um, we will reveal the winner then. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to turn you around and show you what I've ended on today. So that was my breakfast, 381 calories, and that included the milk. My lunch, the avocado on the um, avocado on the cracker breads, and I have got a salad there, mixed leaf salad, and I didn't have salad at lunch. I know what it was, or have I put that there instead of my dinner? Let's have a look. No. Nope. Originally, I was going to have salad for uh, lunch, and then I changed my mind because I wanted salad for tea, so that's that gone, and I had that jelly, and then my tea, 223, and that included the little moon, and then my... Snacks are going to be the Skinny Whip shortly, my squash is in there, my nectarine and half of this cookie which was 107 calories. So that is that and I'm ending with 199 calories remaining and my salt is on 2.23. .2 so all in all I don't think that's a bad day. Yeah, so um, I'm looking forward to my lunch tomorrow because I'm going to have some of the chorizo quiche that you saw that I made. Um, and we're having a roast tomorrow for tea. I know it's Tuesday and um, a bit unusual for a roast. But I didn't have my dad um, Sunday and I haven't had him for a couple of weekends now because of us being on holiday and whatever. So... Um, and that's my easiest day to do a roast, so I'm sorting that out and having that uh, tomorrow for tea. And um, yeah, and then Wednesday we've got to do the dreaded uniform shopping, which oh, I hate, absolutely hate. And it's ridiculous. In my kids' school, they've got this new, we're well, not really a new headmaster, he's been there over a year, I think. Um, but up to now, they've got away with wearing like fans, shoes. Um, my son's had, what's it, he's been wearing, I think his Adidas black ones. Um, and they always said, as long as, you know, the, the logos and all wasn't all that noticeable. Um, and they've always got away with it. But now there's this new thing coming in for September that they have to be 
leather, leather shoes, or leather look-alike, no like trainer kind of thing, no mesh um, and whatever. Now, my daughter's feet are like mine, they're very wide and we find it hard to get shoes to fit. So I'm probably going to have to go to Clark's for her, um, which means she'll have to be a ladies because she's a size 7 to 8 in shoe. So that's going to cost an absolute fortune. Bearing in mind there's nothing wrong with their shoes that they've got for score. So we're going out and spending £150 probably on it'll just be a waste of money because they've got perfectly fine shoes that fit them. But because of the new rule and I don't want to send them in. Um, I don't want to obey the rule because... Um, they're saying that if, if you're not in the correct shoe, they're going to take the shoes off them that they've got on and they're going to put them in shoes that they've supplied for the score and then you won't get your shoes back to the end of the day. Well, I don't want my kids to be, um, you know, be little to that. So, so it's new shoes and uniform, so it's going to cost a small fortune. That's on Wednesday. So, my thinking is now, do I take my lunch with me or do I get a Subway salad? Now, obviously, I've, I've looked at Subway salads when I've just uh, been calorie counting, but I haven't looked at it. I can't stop yawning. I haven't looked at it since I've been checking my salt. So, I'm not sure what to do. It might be easier to take my own food and then I know what's what. Um, I mean, there is that lovely cafe that I've been to before. You've seen it on here with my daughter. And the lady does a nice little salad. She's calorie counting herself. Um, but again, because I'm checking the salt, um, she puts avocado and she does put potato salad on. So I think I'll have to miss that. But anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And Saturday, it's my wedding anniversary. Um, we was going to go out and I decided against that. So my daughter is going to make my absolutely favourite dish of her chicken tikka curry. So that's going to be Saturday. Um, it's my husband's birthday on Thursday. And his request to her is to make him some Rocky Road. So I have got to be very strong willed and resist the rocky road. Um, whether I decide to have a little bit on Saturday, I don't know, but it may be all gone by Saturday. Hopefully it will be and then I won't be tempted. But it's it's hard when you've got kids in the house and you have got this temptation around and it's even harder when my daughter's making it. And you've got the smells and and whatever, whatever, and it's there under your nose. So mm, I need I need a lot of willpower on Thursday, I think. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go now, and um, I will catch you all again tomorrow. So don't forget, if you haven't already checked out Saturday's weighing video, go over and have a look at my. Um, giveaway announcement and if you could like this video please and that helps my uh, channel grow and I'll catch you all again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.